Oh, How about that? Like, do, you, do you fancy jelly? Yes. So oh, this, is, um, this is a really great skin-boosting jelly because what I've done here is I've, we were out at the weekend blackberrying, so I've stewed up some blackberries here and used a little bit of red grape juice. So if you haven't got any berries, you can just literally go down to the supermarket, buy some lovely red juice. Mm -hmm. Now, the key thing is the red because it's these lovely berry skins which are purpley and red in colour that contain skin beneficial anthocyanins. Oh, wow. Which give your skin a real Never boost. Never heard of that Okay, word. so mixing that with gelatine, with the collagen, is going to really help your skin. So I'm going to put in here a little bit of hot water. And the key when you're making a jelly, always, as you know, is to put your gelatine into the hot water. So gelatine the other way being animal-based. Yeah, but gelatine is actually cooked collagen. Yeah, That's right, what okay. it is. So if so, you're a vegetarian, this is not for you. Well, if you're a vegetarian, you could make the jelly, but you'd need to use a non-animal gelatine. Like agar or something Exactly, like but and you wouldn't get the collagen, oh. no. Oh. You get the anthocyanins from the berries. Right. But um, if, you're, I mean, if you're a really strict vegetarian or vegan, then you can look for the amino acids from collagen in things like soya beans. A little bit more complicated, but I'm sure if you're into that way of eating, you're going to be, be more abreast of all it, yeah. of that. But basically, Collagen comes from animal skin. That's why it's good for our skin. That's the theory behind it. So the supplements tend to be made from fish skin. So it often says marine source collagen. Oh, and right. that means it's boiled up. Like it works in the same way. Yeah, very similar. Exactly. So this, or this... you can just use your, oh, your beef yeah. bones or your lamb bones. And what I've done in here is just literally popped in a few of the berries. Oh, is that big? And there's no sugar in that? No, I actually sweetened it with a little bit of your honey. Ah. It's oh, very useful, our honey oh, from this is so nice. bees on the roof. Isn't it great? And you could give that to the kids. No, that's added really sugar. nice. Do you remember in the that's old days? That's the nicest days? jelly I've ever eaten. Yeah. Oh, I'm so thrilled. But that's the nicest really jelly. It's really light in sugar, as you say. Yeah. Really nice in sugar. In the old days, I remember oh, my mum saying, eat a cube of jelly to strengthen your nails and your skin. Mm. And that's like an old wives' tale. And that's tale. the reason why. But that's what we're doing. Okay. So what I've done here is I've made some jellies, because actually you could then take it one step further. Can you eat those jelly sweet things, you know, oh, the, the packets? Yeah, can we just eat tons of those? Uh, well, you could, but they're full of sugar. Uh. And artificial colourings and all the rest of it. And they're quite expensive, because you can make your own. Right. So this is what I've done here. I've actually made them in an ice cube tray. Okay. So this is just some apple juice. If you've got any windfalls, you can make juice out of that, or you could just buy some apple juice. And what I've done here is I've made it with twice the amount of gelatine than you'd use in a jelly. Right. So they come out Burn really up. stiff. So I don't know whether you want to try one of my fruity mm. jellies. I, they, I've got a spoon just in case it well, they feel like on the, the floor. Well, they feel like the jellies before you melt them down. Do you know what I mean? Exactly. Like, like that jelly cube. Mm. Mm. So, again, there's no sugar, but you could, if you want to, pop a little bit of honey or something into nice. it. Nice. I like, I like them. jelly without sugar in it. So much nicer. And nice for the kids. And, in fact, what I managed to find online was these little moulds. Oh, Little cute. silicon moulds. So, if you wanted to make something that was a bit more kind of gummy in texture, then you just mm. add even more gelatin and then it becomes like a fruity chew. Lovely. That's Thank really you very much. Idea. All Thank very you. useful. Thank you. Thank you. All the details on the website.